Right now we are going to make a real hot air balloon using a polyethylene film and some scotch tape. And our balloon is supposed to have a passenger on the board. In purpose to make a hot air balloon, I've bought two rolls of plastic film. It's gonna be a pink balloon. I was going to use some schemes to make a perfect balloon, but eventually they were far too complicated. So I wasn't going to waste my time, so I cut some strings of plastic film ignoring the schemes. As a result I've got three pink and three black strips. There is one more thing to do. We should use some scotch tape to join all the parts. It's called the envelope. The little kitty approved that. To fill the envelope with the hot air, we've chosen the gas burner. But before using it, I've considered some enhancing. And the first thing came to my mind was to drill the orifice, which controls the gas flow level. Unfortunately, in practice it didn't enhance anything. Moreover, it made the flame wayward sometimes. It fades a little because of hard pressure. I think that the power of the gas burner doesn't really matter, it still gives us the flame we need. The balloon will be enormous. So I think we need a flame like this. Later we've learned one peculiar thing. If I light up this standard gas burner, lighting up, and then turn it upside down, it bursts in flames. That's why we've bent the tube like this, to make the gas burner more effective. And that's what we've got. I'm going to show you how it works. Wow, hell of a flame! And the next issue is to attach it nicely to the giant envelope. And then an idea to use a torch here of an old standing lamp crossed my mind. Let's see what I can do. What a hellish construction we've got now! So, the weight of the whole construction is 605 grams now. And this is really nice. We will see how it flies right now. After we've checked everything attentively, we are ready for the trials. Let's see what it can do. But firstly, we have to find out what way the gas burner can lift. For a start, we were trying to fill the envelope with air. We were hoping that the heat of the flame will fill it then. Alright, very nice. Is it filling? No matter how hard we tried, the envelope wasn't going to be filled and it was even blowing off. Let's take a break. I think it began to melt. Yeah, the envelope got some melting because of the flame. Its melting isn't a big deal. Yeah, there are some holes. Let's patch them and do it again. Afterwards, we've decided to use our subscriber's advice. He told us that once he flew up in the air a big hot air balloon using the three fishing roads. I didn't have any. So, we just threw some fishing lines over the trees. Should I pull up a little? No, let's move it aside. Let's tie it first. We tied the envelope to the fishing line and dragged it over the branch. Lo and behold, the balloon started blowing. I can hardly hold it, it is really strong. Pass me the scale and watch the indications. Three, three. There's a hole inside, did you see that? No. Listen, increase the pressure a bit and hold it tight. It's burning! There are plenty holes inside. Damn branches. Look how strong it is going up. Oh my gosh. It seems like we've got the right flame power now. Even more than needed. It is burning hard there. I think the gas burner is askew a little. Don't pay attention to the holes below. Finally, we did it. We are flying it up right now. Just look what happened in the envelope. The engine is much more stronger than we need actually. It was getting darker. It is landing. Tomorrow we'll patch all the holes in the balloon and then we'll fly it up in the air. And there will be a passenger. Who do you think will be a stuntman and will fly to the troposphere? Just write your guesses and subscribe. If you have already subscribed, just push the bell to see the crazy experiments first.